Welcome back. If you're ever in Kansas City, I need you to stop by and check out the Negro League Baseball Museum. It's fantastic, family friendly. You can tell from some of the sounds in the background, this place is very family friendly. It's just a definitely must see if you're in Kansas City. Man, this is beautiful. This is dope. I'm gonna take it. My son, if you. Think about this. Thank you, Greg, for bringing us in out here. This shit is dope, man. Questioning the workings of capitalism, you, you were considered sort of brain dead. Lester Rodney was a 25 year old aspiring journalist when he was hired to create a sports page for the Daily Worker, New York's Communist Party newspaper. With the freedom to explore social issues of the day, Rodney quickly made breaking the color barrier in baseball his signature issue. Rodney wasn't the only journalist calling for the end to baseball segregation, but nobody beat the drug. And I see some of the great Negro League teams playing. I know how good Josh Gibson is, for instance, the greatest catcher who ever put on a uniform, by the way. The point was I felt an immediate vacuum in baseball. You know, nobody is addressing this thing. Outlawed by baseball, the crime of the big leagues. One of the most sordid stories in American sports. Though they win laurels for America in the Olympics, though they have proven themselves outstanding baseball stars, Negroes have been placed beyond the pale of the American and National Leagues. Read the truth about this carefully laid conspiracy. Beginning next Sunday, the Daily Worker will rip the veil from the crime of the big leagues, naming names, giving facts, sparing none of the most sacred figures in baseball's officialdom. August 36. Judge Landis, Phil Frick, Oh, I'm so sorry.
gang of pitchers. It's 50 cents to get into a game back in the top seat. Man, 50 cents back then to get into a game. Psh. And a dollar for a grandstand. Ain't that something? My son, if you aspire to be a servant of the Lord, prepare yourself for testing. Set a straight course and keep to it, and do not be dismayed in the face of adversity. I love this place. It was a remarkable experience. They have tons of autographed baseball, jerseys, bats, the wonderful field where you can take pictures. It's just a family-friendly environment, and it's very inexpensive. It's just a wonderful time. I used to wear that KC hat when we was at Los Arbos, Negro League hat, back in the day. Here's the, yeah, the Cubans, um, my family, her jersey, and the hat that she wore. This is a woman. Yeah, it was, it was in the 1930s and 1940s, way before any, all of our times up here <laughs> at the Homestead Grays. Besides your unique hands, up to proud accomplishments in his scouting career. Thank you. 